Life is full of problems. They could be marital, financial, spiritual, or medical. Some of these problems can be solved by a phone call, money, political power, your doctor, or your contacts. However, you may soon come across a problem that defies any solution. In Kakrabading's book, Rules of Engagement, you will learn how to use the spiritual weapon of prayer and be victorious over evil when it comes knocking at your door. Now is the time to learn how to pray before the evil days come. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Rules of Engagement at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakwa began an exciting message on the subject of prayer titled, Types of Prayer. Today, he speaks about the weapon of prayer. Let's join in. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 is our key scripture for tonight. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Let's skip verse 18, what I'm interested in. Praying always with all prayer and supplication. The word supplication, it means to ask for mercy. So here, what it means is that every time we pray, ask God for mercy. Why? Because by all means, you have done something wrong today. That's why Paul always prayed. Grace, mercy, and peace. Very important prayers. So praying always with all prayer and supplication and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Then he said, you are not only praying for yourself, you are also praying for other people, all saints. Then he said, to pray for other people, one thing that you need is perseverance. Because somebody can annoy you so much, you stop praying for the person. So you must persevere. In other words, perseverance means you should be able to take pain and still go through problems and still do what you have to do. So it says that we are not only praying for ourselves, we are also praying for the saints. Are you understanding me? You know, prayer is one of the most important weapons of a Christian. If you look at the life of Jesus, you will realize that prayer was his most potent force. And I always say that if you don't have a powerful prayer life, you will be forced to compromise. The reason is that you cannot compete in this world. God, the people of the world, they can lie, they can cheat, they can steal, they can manipulate, they can do everything. So they have their own weapons. So if you lead the holy life, how can you compete against such people? Then it means that you must have something else which is supernatural with you. Otherwise, you cannot compete in any situation. A job, they'll collect it. A contract, they'll collect it. Anything, they'll just collect it from you because you don't have any protection. But God has not left us an arm. He has given us the powerful weapon of prayer. If you even have prayer, your pay can be small. But the rest of the things, you use prayer to buy them and collect them. Are you understanding me? So... You don't need to steal or be a corrupt person because prayer is what you need. So somebody like Jesus, I only saw Jesus use money once. That was when he paid his taxes. But even that one, he prayed and told Simon Peter, go into the sea, you will catch a fish, open the mouth of the fish, you will see gold in the mouth of the fish and go and pay the taxes. So even that one, it was a prayer. So Peter went, he caught the fish, he opened the mouth, he saw gold, he took it, and he paid his taxes. But everything else is amazing. He used prayer 
to solve it. Even what I find amazing is that even when he was going to the cross, he told the disciples that when you enter the town, you will find a donkey. Take it. Somebody's donkey. As I say, enter the town. You see somebody's BMW. Take it. He said, they will ask you, why are you taking it? Then you tell them, the master needs it. And they will give the donkey to you. And truly, when he says it to, it happens. Because he could have hired the donkey, but he didn't hide the donkey. It's all just prayers and things are moving. After today, a large section of your life will be by prayer. Yeah. I said it will be by prayer. A large section. Personally, I use prayer to control a lot of things in my life. Especially things I cannot control. Recently, some people were playing some gymnastics with me. I prayed. I said, Lord, these people, I don't want to hear from them again. From that day to today, I have not heard from them again. I stopped them with prayers. May you solve your problems with prayer. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that like Jesus, we must use the weapon of prayer to solve our problems. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. I have been employed. Dear Kakra, I requested a prayer from you on how to be maintained at my current workplace after my national service. You told me I'd prayed for me. By the grace of God, I am successfully employed. Glory be to God. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony, and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.